What's up everybody, welcome back to Lightseekers Headquarters. Today we're going to be doing our part 2 on the Kindred spoilers that have just been released, I believe, in the last 3 to 4 days, maybe 2 to 3 days. Um, which, uh, if you guys did not see my first video, you guys can go check that out. I will leave that link in the description. Um, I have actually been really bad at leaving links in the description, um, which I will be getting better at. So my apologies in advance for that. Uh, I will leave a link in this description, I will make sure to remind myself. Uh, but anyways, we believe I ended off, well, that's, uh, that's not good. There we go. Uh, I ended off on, on Egg Chamber, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, um, I'll probably find out. Uh, but anyways, we're going to start off uh, with a couple more nature cards that have been revealed. And we're going to start off with Feasty Skeetos. Um, so this is going to be a Beast Element Uncommon. Uh, four damage. If the recipient has seven or more cards in their hand, you heal for three. So not a bad card there. Uh, I can see why that can be an uncommon. It's very, very solid and versatile card. Uh, Canopy Creeper, two healing. If your last discard was a beast uh, buff, move it into play. That's a little gross. Very solid card, and it's under the nature element. Okay, uh, not nature element. Um, forest element. So we got our first rare combo buff here, um, Hive Mind. Ooh, this looks interesting for two um, nature and two, uh, sorry, two, um, two animal and two forest. Uh, when you play an insectoid card, deal the two damage to your target and all other heroes. Heal for one and draw a card. That's not bad. I mean, it will get removed, but it's still not bad. Um, uh, Royal Wind Runner. Beast and insectoid buffs on all other heroes are dominant. You may rotate uh, any of your beast buffs one step forward as it enters into play. Okay, that's not terrible. It's nice. Nice tech. That's pretty gross, actually. Um, Sipid Spawner. All other, um, all other heroes discard... Uh, all heroes discard a number of cards from the top of their deck equal to the number of elements uh, icons on the top of their discard pile in order. An order icon counts as one. Okay, all right. Uh, so we got our first hero here. It's Hive Bark, an uncommon. Um, ability, move five insect or cards from your discard pile to the bottom of your deck. This ability can only be activated once per game. That's not terrible. Um, so we got our first rare buff as well. Sip Queen, burn. At the start of your turn, if your deck is empty, move one insect or card of the attack card from your discard pile to your hand. Not bad. Uh, getting into more cards here, we got Stampede. Uncommon a buff for one animal, one forest, and one soul. Draw two cards, play up to four beast um, or insectoid cards without stat restriction. Very good card. Very, very good card. Um, another rare hero here. We got Navigator Scuttle. Uh, draw a card when you play a combo card that requires two more wall elements. That's pretty solid. He's definitely going to be played. Um, gritty Gas Bag we got here for a single... Uh, uh, wind or wind or air element, depending on what people like to call it. Uh, burn, move all combo cards from your scope out to your deck. That's really broken. Um, very, it will be definitely played, guaranteed. Uh, safety crab, healing, draw cards. Not great, but it's all right, especially on the third corner. Um, wild Rod runner, a rare buff for the air element or wind element. Uh, when you play a beast card, deal damage to your target and draw a card. Wow, that's not bad. Uh, especially the clunky corners at the end. I really wish that this was like a three-quarter. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, three-corner style. Um, but it's all right. Uh, another rare hero here, getting into an astral hero. Uh, swooping a uh, suit prider Kari uh, with the lunar. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention uh, that he is a proficient water, I should say. Uh, we got a proficient lunar um, for its uh, element superiority. Uh, ability draw one card face up. If it's a beast card, you may rotate one of your action buffs one step forward. That's really solid. Uh, Crescent Scepter, attack ability, do two damage, increase this by one. If your last card is a beast, and move it into the bottom of your discard pile. That's really, really good. Um, Ashwood Nurture, two healing, move a beast card from your deck to your hand. Uh, that's really good. Bumble Gasher, unique and burn. Ro remove your target's rightmost buff. Uh, from their perspective, not yours. When you play a combo, that's really broken. Um, that will definitely be played in a lot of water decks, I, I will find. Uh, Crushing Charger. Uh, if the recipient has eight or more cards in their hand, move them to your deck. And then move five cards from their deck to their hand. Very decent card. Um, 
it's all right. So we do get our first mythic hero here, and I will take my time to read this one because this one's very interesting. So it's got um, it's got the elements of lunar gravity and explosive. Uh, it's got the proficient or um, sup uh, superiority of explosive. Uh, instead of discarding store gravity cards under this card and up to a maximum of six, when six are stored, increase the damage from your explosive combo comes to deal three. Um, the explosive combos to other heroes by three. Okay, all right, that's actually really, really good. Wow, um, yeah, that should be a very interesting card. I actually would consider playing that. So then we got another combo here for two explosives. Um, bla uh, explosive elements, sorry to say. Blast sequence, damage to your target, you take one damage on each corner. So five, four, three, and two. Uh, it gets down everywhere, just another quick combo. Uh, so we got Gadox the Reckless. I believe this is one of the starter decks here, I couldn't tell you. Um, so it's got this uh, uh, proficient uh, support. Uh, um, I, well, I'm lost words already. Um, proficient uh, explosive element, I should say. Superior element. Uh, ability to deal three damage to your target if they have a combo buff in play. That's pretty good. No, uh, no dis down for that. Um, I reckon that will be played. I think that's going to be a really good uh, offensive tech hero. Uh, tech doesn't have really a lot of options for it in current, like, um, I mean, it does have a lot of options, but they're very, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say weak, but just underwhelming compared to a lot of, um, a lot of other types as it's just a very, it's like a trap setup deck, which I find I don't really like. I, I do like tech in general, but I don't like that kind of style of play. Um, so we got repair bot. Uh, it's going to be healing just on some corners for the mechanical uh, element. So one, two, one, 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 and five. That's actually not terrible. Uh, definitely something that can help uh, uh, tech out a little bit there. So we got robot factor, uh, factory. So on the first corner, it's just going to be a simple rotation with the X. So nothing's going to happen. Uh, when you play a robot card, gain an additional action. So that's not terrible. I mean, also it's clunky corners. So that's going to activate when you play a robot card. So that's really good. Sorry, I'll go back to it. Um also rare um it's really good just in general to give tech more options to play cards as tech has a lot of stuff to play um so getting at our last two cards here very um very very good tech cards actually now that i think about it um scattered box v01 uh version one i should say uh for the explosive element um corner one damage to your target corner two you take damage this is uh sorry two and four you take damage so that's not terrible. Uh, the more larger corners, you're going to deal more damage, and then you're going to take less damage. Oh, sorry. You'll take damage, but it's less um, than what you're dealing to your opponent. So that's not terrible. So two and one, so technically three, you're going to be taking, they're going to take in seven. So that's not terrible. Um, attack ability, remove a robot buff you have in play to deal damage to your target. That's actually really, really good. Um, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, that's actually really good. For a single... Well, for explosive element, I reckon that could be solid. There is a lot of stuff that can boost up your explosive element, especially, um, oh no, that's only combos I can boast. But still, that's really solid just in general to have that in play. You could play it as a two, three, doesn't matter what you're playing. I don't know what um, robot card is going to be revealed, um, but I'm super excited to find out because I really, I really want to try out tech. I haven't really played it much. Um, I've tried playing general carnage with a little bit of tech. Um, I don't really like mill. So I tried to make an offensive deck with it, and it seems to be all right, just a little bit clunky as two types are. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and as of always, I'm Ben from Lightseekers Headquarters, and make sure you guys do check out that giveaway I just did. It's on the Booster Box video, and I'll try and leave a link in the description for you guys. Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.